What's up guys? Thank you for being here. Uh, I'm fixing to show you one of the reasons why I was uh, gone and, well, not gone, but uh, unable to post or why I wasn't posting videos, I will say that. And on a side note, see this trail camera right here? Yeah, that's a, that's a stealth cam. That's a GXA. And there's a, several people, some bigger names that brag on how easy these things are to set up. And after you pull your hair out from setting the first one up, oh yeah, they're simple. <laughs> but here's what I recommend. Unless you either A, have a lot of hair to pull out, B, have a lot of time and patience, or C, you just want to waste your money, buy one of these cell cams, the stealth cam cell cam. It has been, well, I almost said it's, it's been the biggest waste of money, but I also own... So I own three spy points, and I own three stealth cams, and the, spree, the three spy points were the biggest waste of money ever. <laughs> but I'm not going to go off on too big of a tangent here. I have since switched to a different company, a different brand, I should say. And they have been flawless so far, and have been, oh, like, the easiest trail camera I've set up. They set up quicker than an actual, like trail camera that doesn't send pictures like it's just super simple super easy and i'll have it linked down below as well as uh, my instagram is down below too if you guys want to give me a follow there but uh, one of the things we're going to do today is i'm going to show you guys a spot that y'all probably haven't seen in a long time and for you new viewers um, y'all haven't seen it ever i don't think unless you've just been watching some really old videos but we got almost an inch and a half of rain last night and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys a little trick that I learned this week. Uh, as a matter of fact, it's one of, about one of the only good things that I've seen coming from outdoor TV shows these days, and there's a select few that are actually good and worth watching, but I got some cool stuff that I'm gonna show you guys today, some tips and tricks, and then I'm gonna take you and show you a big surprise. It's something that you guys haven't seen in several months, so I'm super stoked to show you that. We are gonna get everything moved over into the buggy and get this show on the road. Imagine that. Still trying to connect to the network even though the camera has been paid for and activated. Sweet. Okay, forget about it. Anyway, what I got here is a really neat little spot and I'm sure many of you are probably familiar with this spot. Um, it's an area that I haven't hunted in many months but up in that tree that great big tree behind me I have a tree stand and um, right here I throw corn down I got a mineral block here trail camera set up right there the brand that is mucho bueno and what I'm planning on doing and what I was originally planning on doing was um, earlier this year in the summertime and I ran out of time was coming through here with the disc and putting in this area that's a little bit more open, putting in a food plot in here. And unfortunately, um, I did not get the time to do that. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Um, however, it's just gonna be a small little area. Um, and but going back up in there as well. I don't even know how to gauge it. Probably uh, a 40, 40 feet, 50 feet by maybe 10 feet, 12 feet wide. So it's gonna be a very small little area. Got to get rid of this junk. And then, yeah, we'll go from there. But it's gonna be a really neat little area. Putting some turnips in right here. I'm, I'm a touch late as far as the season goes, but I think it'll be all right and I think they'll still come up. The weather has been plenty warm here still in Texas. Um, today the high was like 80 something degrees. And the day before it was about the same. The day before that it was in the 90s. So we're gradually cooling off slowly but surely there's a cold front that comes in this weekend pushes us um, our lows into the 40s and our highs up into the 70s which is going to be awesome weather i can't wait for it but uh, for now kind of strapped on time and i need to get this little plot put in uh, i've been throwing some protein down in here as well as some corn and i've had um, some axis deer that have have come in here over the last two years or so i don't know where they came from or what uh, high fence they escaped from around here but um anyway a couple of years ago, well, a year and a half ago, I was sitting up in that stand and had these axis deer walk out down here about, I guesstimated them to be at about 50 yards or so. 
and they were actually a little further than that and I shot and missed just underneath an axis toe. I was super bummed about it. But anyway, I'm gonna get started right here and then I'm gonna show you guys a cool little trick that I learned earlier this week and I'm hoping that it works out the same for me. Normally, I would bring my little Polaris disc in here and disc all this up, but it's gonna be extremely difficult for me to get it in here because of all of this bigger brush that's in here. There's the Polaris back there, which is for sale by the way. So before um, I've, I've posted the Polaris on a lot of different social media websites and I'm looking to get rid of it. It's been a fun and really good Polaris for me, but uh, I'm ready for something that doesn't have such big wheels and tires and all that mess. It's a mud buggy and all I use it for out here is just putting around, um, putting in a food plot every once in a while. It's very well taken care of, low hours. Um, I've got like 320 something hours on it. So if any of you are interested, my email will be at the very top of the description. You guys can email me and see about getting um, that Polaris in your hands um, and on your property. And maybe it'll be a better use to some of you guys. I just need something that's easier to work out of and more economical and easier to get in and out of because that thing's a beast. <laughs> so um, if you guys are interested in it, shoot me an email or message me on Instagram, whatever you want to do. But let's get started. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to hand pull or rake up a majority of all these weeds. Another reason why I didn't want to bring the disc in here, even though I can set my depth adjustment, I think it's going to be very difficult in these tight spaces because I'm not going to really be able to make turns or turn around and in any easy way. Um, so what I'm going to do, and it won't take me very long, it's mostly just dove weed croton, and so it pulls up super easy. So I'm going to pluck it all up and then come through with a rake and rake the top of this uh, soil in here. It's very wet. Like I said, we got some quite a bit of rain yesterday. It'll be easy to rake and then turnips you're supposed to plant um, at a very shallow depth. I think what I read was somewhere between an eighth and a quarter inch deep, which is going to be super important. Um, so what I'm going to do is just come through here, scratch the surface, throw some seed down, cover it up, and then hope for the best. <laughs> Of course you would. If I don't shoot an axis deer or any other deer or hog off these turnips, at some point after they come up, I'm gonna be a little bit butt hurt. <laughs> Hopefully I can get all this raked seed in the ground and just the way that I want it before it gets dark. And then I'm gonna take you guys over there and show you the food plot and everything that we've done. Um, I, I wish that I would have filmed it. I said that I think in the last video and I didn't. Um, I really wish I would have because the progress and the things that have happened in the way that it's changed you guys are just gonna be blown away it's stinking awesome I can't wait to get over there and show it to y'all but for now I'm gonna continue my little project here I've got just a little bit more to pull up a little bit more weeds to go and then I'll start raking and hopefully we'll get it all in the ground I need to get back to work because I've got still quite a bit left to do and not a lot of time to do it <laughs> I did not realize that that was going to be as much of a chore as it ended up being I watched Ted Nugent do this on TV the other day and he was not breathing this hard. So, either he cheated and used a disc first or that spot's been planted multiple times or maybe the old man's just in a whole lot better shape than I am. <laughs> this ground's never been messed with before so uh, typically it's gonna be pretty difficult to break ground um, initially on the first go around. Um, next year, I'll bring the disc in here and I'll do this big whole wide open area in through here and it'll be really cool. But um, this year, just ran out of time. Didn't have the time to do it. And this is as far as I got. I'd rather put something back into the land than nothing at all. And if you grow it, typically they'll come. So I'm pleased for the most part with the way that it came out. Just got to spread some seed and then throw some dirt back over it. And I just got to thinking about it. No, I'm not talking... Uh, smack about the the Nuge. I love his show and I love what he does for uh, our Second Amendment rights and for our hunting rights and 
everything. Super awesome, outstanding individual if you ask me. And as far as everything that he does for the hunting community, he is fighting the good fight, no doubt. And I really appreciate all that he does as well as many other people. Can't just give him the credit. Lots of people fighting a good fight for all of us hunters and pew pew lovers. Gotta be careful with my vocabulary here on YouTube. Let's, uh, I'm gonna do just a little bit more cleaning up. I'm noticing a few spots that I've been missing out on. And then we're gonna throw some seed down. If a single turnip never grows up from right here, I think I'll be okay with it. Because I tried. I really did. I sincerely tried. <laughs> but uh, it was fun. I love <clears throat> doing stuff like this. Putting in little micro plots and, and doing things like that. Working the land. It's a lot of fun. And most of the time, you reap the benefits and you reap the, the reward. Um, but not all the time. Sometimes... You don't get any rain, sometimes you didn't plant correctly. We'll see how it goes here in a couple weeks. We'll come check on it. Of course, I got a cell camera here and a little mineral block here. So occasionally, maybe something will come through. We'll just pray for the best. Um, maybe, I think next week we're supposed to get some more rain. I'm sure that would help this thing. The ground's super wet here. I have mud sticking to my shoes. So there's plenty of moisture in the ground. And I think this stuff will come up uh, pretty quick. As long as, well, as long as it got buried like it was supposed to. But um, I'm going to try to clean my, my boots off a little bit here because... Um, I may end up planting turnips in places that I don't really want to plant turnips. <laughs> Real quick, off camera, I'm going to open up this bag of protein, throw some on the ground over here, and then what we'll do is we'll go check out the other plot. I gotta make this quick before it gets dark, but guys, check it out. <laughs> this area used to be nothing but bare ground the last time y'all saw it in the video. Um, I gotta say a huge thanks to my dad because <clears throat> he came through and set up all the t posts for me and then drove the majority of them. I drove a couple, but not nearly as many as he did. And then we stretched the fence and tied it together. And I think it turned out nice just put three strands up there makes it easy enough for the deer to still get into um, but the my main concern is this right here wanted to keep them cows out and it's doing a good job doing that here's a cell cam that I have set up on this puppy let's make sure it's taken and sending to me like it's supposed to that's my hodag licking stick out there not a sponsored thing just a product I like it um, if you guys are curious about it it'll be linked down in the description below it needs some work. I got a little bit too big of a branch in there and the wind has really <laughs> just kind of laid it over. Um, across the way there, if it'll focus, you guys will see that uh, I have a protein feeder on that fence. Yeah, it was full. See how that top, ru that top uh, run of fence is just a little bit sagging. I think the cows may have reached over and helped themselves there, but uh, just straight oats here on the ground. And then one thing, uh, a couple other things actually that I wanted to show you guys that I'm super happy with. Let me get to where I can get you guys some better light. This here is my tower that I built and I think it came out great. Um, four legged quad pod basically is all it is. It's a six by six deck up there. I sheeted it with plywood and then I went to Home Depot, picked up some rubber mats. They were like four foot by three footers. They were like 17 bucks a piece. I'll get up there and show that to you guys here in just a minute. Um, picked up this ground blind from uh, Academy. It's like 130 bucks. It's big enough for three people. Uh, this ladder was on an old box blind out here on the stand that hasn't been used or hunted out of in years. I took it 
and have, I'm obviously am using it here. Um, a couple other things that I have to do before this spot is 100% ready to hunt is I got to finish uh, cabling off my my tower here as you can tell I just have adjacent corners done I still need to do this corner up to the top there as well as uh, do this corner over here and it'll be completely snug and secure but let's go up this ladder here get up in this blind oh and since we're looking at them uh, guys I know that these spiders right here look extremely disgusting and I don't like spiders We'll pick up rattlesnakes and play with them before I mess with spiders, but uh, these kinds of spiders right here are your friend. They eat lots of pests and <laughs> bugs and different things that we don't want to deal with. So, as you guys can tell, with what little daylight I have left here, I've got these rubber floor mats on the ground. They work great. They soak up a lot of noise. They're not the, as thick as I'd like for them to be, but nonetheless, they... Uh, serve their purpose and do their job now here's the view that looks so stinking awesome the oats just started coming up a couple weeks ago and they're super thick the camera just does not do it justice um, these patches where it looks super patchy right in here through this strip um, it actually has lots of green in it compared to what the camera is showing you guys now this strip over here um, it's actually not fake <laughs> or it's it actually doesn't have as much growing in it as I'd like for it to so what I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna come through here and that little strip right there with a rake and I'm probably gonna plant turnips in that just to have a little bit of variety in here and see if the deer will take to it and see how they react to it I'm super pumped to hunt this spot and show it to you guys um, in better light I have had a few deer come through here I've had a couple of does that like to come through here in the middle of the night but it's still super green everything is super green we've been blessed with some uh, very timely rains this summer up until like the last month and a half two months it was pretty pretty droughty around here and very dry and then last week we got about two inches of rain almost two inches of rain and then last night we got almost a inch and a quarter timely rains now and i'm super thankful for it but the good lord sure has blessed us this is going to be a great afternoon spot for me because the sun will be at my back i'm glad i made it over here before it got too terribly dark but uh man it just the camera doesn't do it justice i'm super fortunate super blessed and very happy with the way that it all turned out and like i said once all this green dies off and all the grass goes away all the acorns are rotted and frozen and all that jazz though i have a feeling that there's going to be deer all over this plot since i'm tagged out in this county we will be pretty much just doe and spike hunting well that's all we'll be doing is doe and spike hunting as far as whitetail goes and with the exotics well just the axis of the axis kit in here and we'll have a fun time chasing them and then i have without a doubt in my mind that the pigs will eventually find it and wear it out part of being on a low fence prop low fence property in texas um, but it is what it is thank you guys so very much for watching i appreciate the support from each and every one of you i love you guys thank you so much for being here be sure that you hit that subscribe button and don't miss out on anything more hunting coming up um, this weekend this the rest of this week and of course the rest of the season um, but lots of fun stuff coming and i can't wait to share with you guys i will see you in just a couple days Baby.